New at noon, authorities are investigating a death at a mountain arts festival. News 13's Lauren Brigman is live in, at the Haywood County Sher Henderson County Sheriff's Office. So, Lauren, what are we learning about the victim? Holly, I spoke with festival organizers this morning, and they confirmed that this man is not from this area. Now, his name nor the exact cause of death have been released at this time. Officials with the Henderson County Sheriff's Office are investigating. Now, authorities responded to a call about a person unresponsive in a stream around 2 yesterday afternoon on Matogny Trail. Now, this is where the Transformist Festival was taking place on the grounds of the Deerfields Retreat. About 2,500 people converged in Horseshoe last Wednesday for this arts festival, camping out through today. Festival organizers say people from all over the world attend this annual event, which they say cultivates a sense of community through art and music. They say this is the first death in the festival's history here. We haven't had a serious incident in 12 years. And, um, and we've had some injuries, but injuries always happen at festivals. They've been, uh, a few of them have been unfortunate, but it's a safe event. We've, we have a very low record. We have a very uh, qualified EMS staff that we pay and it's on duty here. Authorities say the victim was taken to Park Ridge Hospital where they were pronounced dead. An autopsy will be performed to determine the exact cause. Officials say it is still very early in their investigation. Now, festival organizers are expressing their sympathies, and they have a website, transformus.com, where they posted this statement. They handed me the handwritten version this morning. It says, in part, our thoughts and prayers are with this family, friends, and the Transformist community. Reporting live in downtown Hendersonville, Lauren Brigman, News 13.